If you want to save them, join them. A researcher has taken to the treetops in Tasmania where the endangered swift parrot lives, eats and breeds. Fiona Blackwood reports. The swift parrot is no easy scientific subject. They're small, they're leaf-sized, they're leaf-shaped and they're leaf-coloured and they often nest about 30 metres up a tree. So to actually find these birds in the first place is incredibly challenging. But that hasn't deterred Dayan Stoyanovic. The work that Dayan's undertaking uh, will really provide a critical piece of the puzzle for uh, helping to recover the species. He's venturing into new scientific territory to find out more about the swift parrot population, which is down to an estimated 1,200 breeding pairs. There are actually half as many swift parrots in the wild as there are tigers, so they're actually really in quite a bit of trouble. The species is in trouble because it only nests in hollows found in old trees, and the eucalypts it feeds on flower irregularly. They have to chase flowering trees across the landscape depending on rain and local weather conditions. Trees may not flower for two or three or sometimes even five years. These week old chicks will provide some more information about how the species is faring. I'm trying to see whether does the amount of bush actually correspond to chick health because the parents are being forced to work much harder when we remove the bush. It's feared the loss of habitat through logging, agriculture, mining and urban development is making it increasingly difficult for the birds to feed their hungry broods. Adult parrots are being fitted with tracking devices to see how far they'll go to cater for their young. The chicks will leave the nest in about 30 days' time. Their search for food and shelter will eventually take them across Bass Strait and for some as far north as Queensland. Fiona Blackwood, ABC News, Lake Leak.